In this video, I'm going to walk through the process to take this video and quiz that I've created in Camtasia and export it and then upload it into uh, the Litmus LMS to show you how that works uh, both as a user and then afterwards I'll rep uh, report on the results as uh, an admin. So I've got my video here and I want to show you my quiz here at the end. I've got a little uh, created a little intro for the quiz with just a title slide and then here's my quiz I'll preview it really quickly so you can see what's in here I just have these two questions each has um, some feedback whether you get the answer right or wrong and that's what it's going to look like so now I'll go to share and I can either do local file or custom production I'll do custom production we're going to want this choice mp4 smart player with html5 we're going to want to produce it with the controller and here under options i'll show you you can there's a checkbox to turn on or off the quizzing portion of it and um, this html title is basically the page title that's going to appear so i want mine to match my title of my video which i've done already and I want to show you really quickly, if you were to uncheck the controller to turn that off, you wouldn't have the option uh, tab enabled and you wouldn't be able to turn on the quiz. So this definitely has to be on. And then you can select quizzing here, which I've done. So click next. Um, here I'll take the defaults and hit next. And here, uh, let's see, really quickly, I think by default it's going to show uh, report quiz th results through email. Uh, be fine if you want to do this but um, this has no impact on SCORM and these choices here don't matter for SCORM so you can just uncheck that and see that that grays out so it doesn't matter and you're just gonna uh, make sure you select to report quiz results using SCORM. Uh, I want to show you really quickly here under quiz appearance this basically allows you to relabel um, the various buttons that appear when the quiz um, is being played um, and I've gone ahead and retitled this this button that says replay last section um, actually replays the whole video just so to make it clear I made it say replay video you can turn the entire button off if you wanted to if it's too confusing but I'll leave it on with that um, altered text so I'll click OK and then go into SCORM options Here's uh, basically where you can set the title and description uh, for the module. Now once you upload it into your LMS, uh, in most cases you'll be able to edit that um, or enter it in the LMS. So these don't matter that much. But if you're, let's say, uploading to multiple LMSs, you, you may want this to be exactly the way you want it so that it's consistent across all your various uploads. So I've gone ahead and typed in a title and description for mine. And then the version uh, you can set to be SCORM 1.2 or 2004 second, third, or fourth edition. And this is just going to be um, whatever your LMS requires. So some LMSs can only do 1.2, so you select that here. Um, the Litmus LMS, which I'm going to um, upload to, uh, you can choose any of these. So I'm, I'll choose 2004. Um, down here you can set a cut score for your quiz. So uh, I only have two questions, so I'm going to say 50%, so you only need to get one question correct. If you wanted them to be, uh, get both correct in order to pass, you could set this to 100%. Uh, but again, I'm not going to be that strict. I'm going to set mine back down to 50%. And down here is the completion requirement for watching the video. So if you want them to watch the entire video, you would set this to 100%, or if you don't watch uh, watching the video is basically optional. You can set that to 0%. I'll set mine super low. You have to watch some of it, but hardly any. And then down here, you can um, change uh, or or have it produce a zip file or also the unzip files. And the only reason why you may want unzip files is if you're going to modify any of the HTML, CSS, or JavaScript code that gets spit out. And in most cases, you're not going to need to do that. And I'm not going to, so I'm only going to produce the zip file. Okay, so then I'll click OK. And next. And then go ahead and produce it. 
Okay, so it's done. I'll click open production file so I can um, get that uh, file nice and easy to access. And there it is, my zip file, which is what I want. I'll click finish here and save so I don't lose anything. And then minimize Camtasia and go. I'm already logged into my Litmus LMS trial here. And uh, I've already got a course created that I can just add that module to. So I'll just drag in the file that just got produced here. I'll take the default for the title. I'm not going to bother to enter a description. And then I want it to be active, of course. And he'll hit save. OK, once it's uploaded, it'll take a couple minutes um, for it to finish processing. All right, and it's done processing. So now um, I could do preview course from here, but I'm going to log in as a learner so you can see what it looks like from their point of view. Um, I've got the course here on my home page. I'll launch it. Play a little bit of it so I can get my 2% complete done. And then otherwise, I'm going to skip to the very end, which is where my quiz is going to be. And there's my replay video button that I relabeled. And uh, I'll go ahead and take the quiz. And I'll get uh, the second one wrong just so we can see the score come through. And I'll hit exit here. And you can see that I passed. And my completion status for the both the course is 100% and the module 100%. So now let me switch to be an admin and go to reports. And yeah, you know, every LMS is going to be different, but here's how you're going to find the results in Litmus anyway. Uh, you go to reporting engine and user details, and we want results for score modules. And then by default, it's going to pick a bunch of stuff that I'm actually going to get rid of some. We don't need. Uh, so we got basically the user. Um, in fact, I don't need all this stuff. Uh, the course title, module title, SCORM title. And then I want to show you the SCORM activity results. And the activity score is where the quiz score is going to get tracked. So just have that information. Oh, actually, I also want to see that um, the module completion status is getting updated. So add that. So that score and completion status. I'll hit next. And then here we'll need to pick our module. And then hit next. Get a preview of the results here. And so now we can see um, the course title, module title, and I got my 50% score here, and completion status came through as uh, completed. So everything seems to be working properly, and that's basically how you export a Camtasia video with a quiz and then import it into an LMS and report on the results.